What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Jefton Jones. And look, did y'all watch that Conor McGregor fight? If you did, by now you should have seen the memes and you know that Conor McGregor got knocked out. Now, it's interesting to me because watching and being a fan of MMA in the UFC, I've learned from watching Conor McGregor that he is a very wild outlandish outgoing individual and it's interesting because he decided that in this fight he was going to switch up his methods and choose to be a humble humility filled kind of individual and it was interesting to me because i've grown so used to watching him be the the the, the life of the party being the one whose face is always being he was the face of the ufc he brought in a bunch of he's the most paid ufc uh fighter known today right and so with him making that much money from different things in his career it's it's interesting to watch him take the back seat and just be this humble gentleman stand-up kind of guy and so today i want to talk about is being humble is there a such thing as being too humble right as christians we strive to let our integrity speak for us we strive to let our humility speak for us there are certain things that we decide to do to where we're not we're, we don't always have to be the face or the life of everything because we're humble right we're taught to have a, a to take a back seat on things not taught but you know we've we've just grown to take a back seat on a lot of things because at the end of the day we know where our hope lies i'm talking to us christians and so i had to do some digging i said okay well is being too humble actually a bad thing and was what conor mcgregor did actually a bad thing so i had to google it and i found at dictionary.com it says the definition of being humble is to not be proud or arrogant, but rather modest. But then the second idea of being humble was to have a feeling of insignificance, inferiority, or to be subservient. Now, as Christians, we are not taught to be inferior to any man. We are taught to turn the other cheek and to forgive, right? We are not taught to be subservient but we are taught to, to man that is, but we are taught to be subservient or we are taught to be inferior towards God. So there is a clean distinction in who we ought to be humble to. We treat people as we would want to be treated and we love people as we would want to be loved, but there is a certain level of humility and humbleness that I believe should be shown towards man, especially as an athlete. And I think that Connor may have been too humble for his own good because it costed him. And as we all know, he was knocked out, right? And to my knowledge, I don't think Connor has ever been knocked out. I know he's been submitted. I know that he's tapped out a few times and he's got some losses, but he's never been knocked out. And so is there a such thing as being too humble? Growing up, I remember I wrestled, right? I give honor where honor due, give respect where respect is due. You always respect the man in front of you, right? That, that goes without saying. But is there a such thing as being too humble, right? It, it, to where, I, I mean, because if you take it for its core in the definition of what humble what to be humble means if you take it at its very core if you get to thinking about it to be inferior well how can you win if you're inferior to someone else how could you possibly win and come out victorious if you're subservient to someone else and so i think that Conor McGregor was a wee bit too humble in his approach towards the fight against Dustin Poirier, and I think it may have caused him his loss. Drop your thoughts in the comments section. Was Conor McGregor too humble, and was that the reason why he lost his fight? Let me know in the comments section. I'm out.